Alright, hey guys, welcome back. This is Captain M. Kirk, and I'm going to do another swordless dot skip tutorial here. This one's quite a bit easier than the old one. It still does use buffer because, let's face it, this trick is pretty difficult to do on buffered. So basically, just get this angle. You can do the method I used to do, or this method that's just faster. And we're going to start by getting the clip, and as soon as you get the clip, pause. Uh, you can wait a few frames for this, but you want to pause and hold no input. You don't have to hold up. And we're going to buffer to the weird door frame, uh, which I'll show in a second. This is still a couple frames away. There we go, that one. So we're going to buffer to this frame. Basically, all we've done so far is we've gotten the clip. And as soon as you get the clip, just don't hold anything. Don't hold Z. So release Z, release... Um, down right or down left I mean just don't hold anything until this frame now on this frame we're gonna unpause we're gonna hold uh, Z as soon as we unpause we're gonna buffer the input of Z and we're gonna hold it and then after like um, a, a few frames usually it's it's a little more than four frames will work we're gonna hold left so I'm gonna unpause hold Z and then after a little bit of time, like half a second, I'm going to hold left. And just keep holding Z and left after that. Just like that. It's super easy. Um, you see, I have my sword, but I just didn't use it. So that's how you do the new uh, swordless dot skip. And uh, not that it's super new. I just thought I'd update my tutorial because a lot of people are still uh, watching my updated my updated one. But yeah, this one's faster, and it's a whole lot easier. So thanks for watching, guys, and Captain out.